Fifi Island, one of Thailand's most iconic destinations, nestled away in the southwest of the country. Its clear turquoise waters without a doubt will be marking its territory in your favourite island getaways. When visiting Phi you'll definitely want to enlist on a boat trip around the islands to see the expansive beauty this paradise is boasting. How to get here? The journey's pretty simple. We boarded a fast cat ferry from Phuket for 400 baht per person. Upon arrival, we were met by our hosts at the port and they were assisting us with our luggage to the staircase. The altitude of our room was only just short of being in the clouds. It looked incredible. This is the room. Oh, don't be in the other flock. An absolute mess. <laughs> that was mad. So remember what they said? Leave the doors closed, otherwise the monkeys will come in. <laughs> I said to bed, it'd be kind of cute to see the monkeys come in. And what did I say? Absolutely not. <laughs> Well, I'm actually shattered walking up that. It was really hard. Like, I didn't remember reading anything about stairs, but thank gosh they helped us with all of our bags. And, like, that guy was struggling. They helped struggling. us with your bag, darling. My bag. I he was struggling. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to get ready in our swimmers. We heard about a good snorkeling spot that we don't need to get a boat or anything. We can just go straight up the sand. I'm excited. <laughs> I need to buy a snorkel. You need to get a new mask. Yeah, a new mask. Shorty broke hers yesterday. I lifted it up and just went ping, snap. <laughs> <laughs> and then I still continued snorkeling like this, holding it, and then it got to the point where I was like, well, going in, it was too shallow to like try and dodge the rocks. It ended up being kind of scary. I was like, oh my god. All right, let's go. Uh, Bye. So we're here at where I think we're supposed to. We've asked three people. They said, yeah, go snorkeling here. So I'm going to give it a go. This is what it looks like. It looks nice. Shorty's already in there. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it. It is like a swimming pool. What did you reckon of it? Super cool. Very <laughs> clear water. We saw heaps of Nemo. Yeah. Like, heaps of clamps. Three different types, eh? Yep. A giant puffer fish. Oh yeah, the biggest puffer fish I've ever seen. It actually looked like a baby whale. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is heaven. It is, this eh? It's ridiculously clear. And just to think that this is in the marina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to have a little break. I definitely need to have some water. <laughs> you got some proper goggle marks in your head, eh? Some big dints. So do you. Is it? Oh, I better show everyone. Not as bad as it has been. Yeah. All right, well, let's go have some water. The afternoon's glow went dim as we settled into our new home for the night. We slept so well, hearing the calming sea breeze and the sounds of island nature. Oh, good morning. We have woken up, it's 5am, we have to be down at the boat pier at 5.50, ready for our sunrise boat tour. I'm going to wake Ben up and see. We had our bags pre-packed and ready for the night before to make for a smooth departure on our day trip. The air was crisp as we punted across the glassy ocean surface. It was pristine boating conditions. In the distance, we could see island cliffs growing from the horizon until they were towering in front of us. The views were breathtaking. So we're just pulling up at the jetty to jump off to go across into Maya Bay. And as you can see, there are a lot of go-getters that are up early in the morning, so... <laughs> we'll be sharing this spot for sure. Right, you're ready to go? What time are you back? Malu group. Okay, so we know how to come back to. Kapunka! Unfortunately, our microphone got wet. So, we'll give you the quick briefing about visiting Maya Bay. When you hire out a private boat and come here, be sure to check whether your national park fees are included or not. Otherwise, you'll pay them upon arrival. We paid 400 baht per person. 
Each national park does have its own fee and they're at different rates, so be prepared for that and have some cash when you're visiting the national parks in Thailand. We think the fees are helping with the infrastructure and facilities because they're well maintained, plus where we've visited it has been very clean. Right, so we got down here and it's already, to be honest, a crowd of people. Yeah, there is. It's a quiet crowd, but better topic, this sand is actually like powder. It is. It is, it is so nice under your feet. <laughs> it's like walking in flour. Oh, it's so beautiful. Make a sand pancake. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a black tip reef shark. This is where they breed and you can often see the little babies and their mums swimming around here. Wow babe, the fin! Any bigger and I think I'd be scared. <laughs> I mean that was so cool. We could actually see the black tip reef shark swimming in the shallows. The little fins were popping up. There's a few. I think there was about four or five of them. Yeah, just cruising around in the shallows. And it's really nice, like, you can't swim here and it is for a good cause. They're trying to help regenerate the numbers and have a safe haven for them to come and... Breed. Yeah. Safely. So that is really nice. And it is super busy, so I can see why they need to shut it down. But this place is absolutely incredible with the crowds, not the crowds. It's so worth a visit. Okay, so we are heading back to our boat now. We've just finished here at Maya Beach. Oh. That's gonna be hard to top because it was so beautiful. And the fact that we got to see the sharks, like I am blown away. Like as we were heading back, I was like, I hope we see a shark. And then we saw two and they're like different colors and they kept finding each other and like swimming to each other. It was really cool, wasn't it? I think the funniest thing was there was a fish, like yeah. maybe half the size of them, <laughs> hanging out with them. And the song that came to my head, fish of friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, such an incredible experience. Yeah. If you want to go and visit a shark nursery that's natural, here's the spot. Yeah, so true. Time for these unforgiving steps. <laughs> it's like a cheese grater. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Kapun ka! <laughs> Boat issues over here. Looks like the motor has crapped itself. Well, he's changed over the part and I think he's going to be all good to go. There's a lot of black smoke coming out of that. Boat. Yeah, there was. <laughs> hey, Nick, where are we? We're a bamboo island. Oh my god, that cracked me up so much. Okay, so we've just landed the boat and we're at Bamboo Island. It's super beautiful. The sand is once again like white and lush. The water is so clear and blue, but the sun still hasn't kind of popped its head out. <laughs> I'm wondering if we were supposed to grab our snorkel. No, or is he, he going to drop us over there later on where to snorkel? Yeah, he said no snorkeling here. This bit's just for swimming. Um, taking some pictures, going for a walk on the beach for his words. Mm. So we'll have a look around. I can see the bamboo now. Can you see it popping out? Yeah. Oh. Can you see the tops of it all? I can see it. Well, that makes sense now why it's called Bamboo Island. I was wondering where it was going to be. Wow. Yeah, this looks awesome. The roots are actually in the rock, and as it's been pulled over, I think the rock has come with it. Oh my gosh! So we just saw the little hairy leg crab. Yeah, the old hairy legged mountain crab. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> and they did decorate themselves with a little shell as protection, I guess. It's quite pretty too, like there's really cute little birds. We just saw a couple of like, little mini hummingbirds just zooming around. They're so fast though. But yeah, there seems to be a lot of lovely little birds here. You can kind of hear them like tweeting, tweeting, tweeting? Tweeting? Tweeting, tweeting. You can hear them tweeting. <laughs> Ben's really good at the bird whistles, by the way. 
Mm, I don't know. He is very good. Sometimes I get confused for his bird whistle with an actual real bird. Sometimes when we're taking photos, that's how we talk. I whistle to her in ways that she understands. <laughs> There's also a food whistle. There is a food whistle when I've cooked dinner. <laughs> I'll share that one. <laughs> food? <laughs> Just bought some nuts and a little kiosk. Mm. Mm -hmm. Quite good. Alright, let's go find our boat and move on, eh? Mm -hmm. So we've just got back on the boat now. Finished up at Bamboo Island and we're heading to Nui Bay. All a bit of a surprise again. We kind of just booked these tours and just let them take us on a little excursion. Yeah, because you're always governed by the tides. And so, yeah, we might have to go back again to try and, try and see Pile Lagoon. We just found out that we won't be going back there because the tide was too low. And now we've finished up all of our time after this one. So, yeah, you got to time them right if you can. If you get a private one, it might be best to look into the tides. Yeah. And then choose what time you start and what you want to see and where you want to go. Okay, we made it to Nui Bay and we're going to jump in and do some snorkeling. Looks absolutely incredible. The water is clear, I can see some little fishies underneath. And yeah, let's jump in. Alright, I think it's my turn to jump in. It looks too good to resist. Here we are at Monkey Beach. Let's go and see what we can find. Well, I see why they call it Monkey Beach. There is many, many macaques. They are in their gangs ready to steal people's things. Wow, there's so many. There is a fair few over there. Whoa. That seems to be the highlight for all the tourists, but I mean the beach. <laughs> Compared to the tourists. <laughs> Look at the monkeys. I think someone's having a bit of fun in the water. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's, there's a monkey. <laughs> this is literally amazing. The water is so clear. I have to float. I have to see it. Alright, and that's the end for monkeys. Monkey, what? Look at my hair. <laughs> I can't even look at myself. Look at my horrible hair. What happened? That was absolutely insane. We have to come back here. Yes, we will have to come back. We'll get the kayak and come back, I think. Yeah. All right, let's jump on the boat. That's the end of our six hour boat tour here in the Pee Pee Islands. I think Maya Beach was my number one and Monkey Beach was my number two. Yeah, I think I'd have to agree with you there. All right, so we've got lunch. That's the falafel. Admittedly, we had just eaten a pad thai. She said that one was tahini and chili. Do you think that you're going to have the chili? 
course. <laughs> Spicy? Got a bit of heat to it. <laughs> Adding it to your wrap? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just nibble on the chilli while I'm eating that. <laughs> I want to eat it. Good? Mmm. That looks so delicious. Oh, Bob, serve yourself up. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Yes, we love that. <laughs> Gosh, this looks so good. Okay, so we have just rented ourselves a kayak. We're going to head back to Monkey Beach because we absolutely loved it there. We've just gone on the opposite side uh, of the pier here and you can rent it. It was 300 baht for two, two hours. hours. Every, yeah, every hour after that's 100 baht, so not too bad. Uh, we got told it's about a 15 minute paddle, so we'll see. We packed heavy again, but we've got our waterproof bag. Then we've got our beach umbrella, water, and your new hat. Yep, yeah, got myself a new one. What'd you get? You paid $10 Australian yeah. for a North Face hat. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> All right. Ready to get your paddle on? I'm so ready. This is so peaceful. It's nice to sit back and just film you because you got to do this at Halong Bay. <laughs> I've had a few great opportunities of chilling out, I'll admit it. The water here is so translucent and clear. You can see straight to the bottom, like every little bit of ripple on the surface, you can see it so clearly in the sand. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning. And I'm so glad that we get to come back to Monkey Beach because it was the last stop before we came back at the end of our tour there. So we only had around 20 minutes, which isn't long when you think about it. Like I had a quick dip, we had a look at some monkeys and then it was time to go. So we are headed just over here to the left, which is Monkey Beach, and over here is Nui Bay, where we were snorkeling earlier, which was also amazing. That was about 20 minutes each way, I think they said. Got a real rhythm going there. I'd hate to interrupt you. Oh, I'm feeling quite in tune with it, eh? <laughs> it's kind of addictive when you're doing it. Well, watching it or doing it? When you're doing it, like you kind of get this little bit of a high going, like a you're moving, so you're like, okay, I'm doing pretty good here. Yeah, no wonder the hamsters sprint on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We're on the other side. This is Monkey Beach here. A few snorkelers here, darling. All right, looks like we're doing our final little paddle. We're nearly on the sand here at Monkey Beach. It's beautiful coming in. The rock formations and stuff that are sticking out are incredible. All covered in trees. It's really green. I mean, my biggest concern is a monkey trying to pinch our stuff as while we're swimming because there was a lot of them here. Good job. Some monkey thievery going on over here. Monkeys versus humans. Oh, I can't believe what's unfolding before my eyes. <laughs> I'm not sure who's winning either. A small victory for mankind, a huge step for monkeys. Okay, after nearly being robbed by a monkey, having a nice little dip in the water here, we're going to head off in the kayak to Nui Bay. We haven't touched down there yet, so you want to go there? Yep. Alright, let's go. Jump paddling. Wasn't easy, <laughs> but we've made it. <laughs> so worth it. I want to get in there, have a dip, mm. cool off from all that paddling. My elbows are sore. Like that was a tough paddle. Yeah, it's been. We've been doing a lot of physical stuff since we've come to the south of Thailand. Like lots of swimming, rowing, 
um, up walking the stairs, up hiking. steep <laughs> hikes. Yeah, yeah, it's been <laughs> it's been an all-inclusive fitness retreat. Yeah, yeah unintentional boot yeah. camp. Yeah, no, it's good though. It's good to be outdoors and living life, no limits. And it's so funny, as we're just pulling in here, we saw our boat driver from earlier having his little <laughs> yeah. lunch. He's obviously on another tour group. Yeah, they're doing so I dig up Nick. Oh, so I dig up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go and enjoy this haven, hey? Yeah, definitely gonna be doing another cheeky snorkel trip. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes our time at Nui Bay. We're going to quickly paddle back while we've got a little bit of sunlight left. We've got about 30 to 40 minutes. Hopefully we can bang it out in like 30 minutes because we're going to really start stroking when that sunlight's behind us. <laughs> but that is such a beautiful way to end our day. It has been such an epic adventure. We're really looking forward to tomorrow morning to see what it's going to bring for us. But before we hit the hay, I think we're going to be going for a good meal tonight. <laughs> Okay, so it's our last morning in Pee Pee. We are just packing up, getting ready for the day. We are. I did some washing of some salty, dirty clothes, but I haven't quite dried, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wear them to dry them. Yeah, the old fashioned way. Air them out yourself. <laughs> We just had some mango sticky rice for breakfast that we bought yesterday at the market. Then we are going to head down to Long Beach. It's the only beach we haven't seen on the island yet. We've heard from the locals there's like heaps of good snorkeling. Ben's pretty excited to mention that there's what? Shark Point? Shark Point! <laughs> I mean that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Our last few hours have flew by as we were reminiscing on memories we've made here in PP. Visually speaking, we both agree this island is perfect, but the adventure we have planned next might just top the charts for best snorkeling in all Thailand. We're going to Khao Lak for some boat trips to see Similan Island and an overnight trip to Surin Island. If you're enjoying our Thailand series, be sure to like the videos and hit subscribe. We really appreciate the love and support from you guys, and we'll see you in the next episode of Benny and Mika. Bye!